This YouTuber suggested to me that I try out a chip, a TL494. And what it does, it's a pulsed with modulation control chip. And he explained what it did, and I immediately ordered some off of eBay. And here's the build that I did. And you can see that there's wires going everywhere. But here is the circuit that I came up with. I looked at several circuits on the internet and, of course, YouTube, and uh, came up with this one. It's a little different than most, but it works quite well. And what's different about it is the way that I hooked up pin 4 and 3. Now, I want to point out a few things here. If you look at pin 8 and 9, we got C1 and E1. That is the collector and emitter of an NPN transistor as the output. And C2 below is the second transistor output. It's also an NPN. And another thing that I want to point out, if you look at pin 6 and 5, we've got a 10k ohm resistor and a dot zero one microfarad capacitor. That is the RC time constant and that determines the frequency that this chip will oscillate, which is very handy. I mean, it's so nice to have a built-in oscillator. Just change the RC time constant and you change the frequency. Now, what I'm going to show here, I've done a video about this chip. I'm going to vary this 1 meg ohm resistor. And we're going to start out with the circuit just like this with 14 and 13, pins 14 and pin 13 hooked together. And then I'm going to disconnect 14 and 13 and we'll see what it looks like at that point when I vary the 1 meg ohm resistor. And the last part of the video, I disconnect pins 4 and 3 and hook them together. And also, I have connected pins 14 and 13 together. And I think this is the way that I'm going to use it for that solid-state substitute for a filament voltage vibrator. I've got the scope hooked up to it. This is transistor 1 output, and it's yellow. And this is transistor 2, and it is green. And all I'm going to do is turn the 1 meg ohm resistor and we'll see what happens while I'm watching the oscilloscope here. Slowly you can see that the dead time is getting narrower. Much more narrow now. Almost full on. Now they're both full on. Turn it back in the other direction. So what we're doing here is varying the dead time. But notice that between transistor 1 and transistor 2 there are 180 degrees out of phase. Now I'm going to take the wire off of 14 and 13, which is right here. And let's take a look and see what it looks like. Okay. It's, both are almost off, but notice that now they are in phase. So let me increase the amount of time that they're on 
by just turning this knob. But notice that they are in phase. A little bit more and they'll both be on solid. There we go. Okay, I'm going to connect this back up for the project that I'm working on to make a solid state substitute for a filament vibrator for a, a uh, old military radio. I think I'm going to use it this way. I've just connected. Uh, that's a... Uh, Let's see. Four, and this is three here. I think I'm going to use it this way. Notice that we've got a nice square wave, and they're 180 degrees out of phase. So I can drive some MOSFETs with this. And if I need a different frequency, all I have to do is change the capacitor and resistor on the RC time constant. This is pretty nice chip. This looks to me like it's going to be a very useful chip. Thanks for watching.